Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are at my house, home, shop, slash, what have you. We are dealing with this roller. All right, so they have some uh, updated shenanigans here. Um, they have a new spacer that's required. Of course, my hand is all shaky, too much coffee. So uh, you can guys see there all the stuff that's uh, the work tools that are involved in this. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go change it and see what happens. So as you guys can see, this guy is, I don't know if I can show it with a foot here. Okay, it swivels, but it uh, really wobbles. I'll try to show it better. Um, I'll see what I can do to get a measurement before and after. So also uh, the skids needs a little bit of TLC. I think I'm leaking out of one of these guys here. So I'm gonna take this off and see what, uh, what's required there and uh, see if I can tighten it because I uh, have to fill up the hydraulic fluids. So yeah, we'll go from there. We'll uh, do a little thing and uh, yeah, follow along. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we see here is the play. Way too much. I mean, it's supposed to go like this, of course, but there's way too much play. And what this does, what these nice new doohickeys do, they're the spacers. I'll take out the old ones. You'll see what they are. I'll measure them both. Um, and we'll go from there, but I don't think these spacers are going to decrease the slop any. We'll see. I mean, I'll take it off and we'll go from there. Got a uh, nice Nipex uh, snap ring plier. I'm going to take off this snap ring here. All right. Good and tough snap ring, let me tell you. All righty. Take that off. It's just a bush. It seems to slide very well. So this is just a simple bushing. Doesn't look like it has a front or a back. Let me clean out the shaft here. All right, and I'll come back after I have it all cleaned up and I'll show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this part is the part that stays with the machine. This is the part that spins that's on the whole drum. So as you guys can see, this bore, this pin bush goes on there. It is Weeble wobbly like that. And in here, you guys can see it's weeble wobbly there. So this bushing is just a wear item that makes the whole plate sloppy. I I, I don't understand why there's so much slop in something like this. Um I know there's vibrations, they want to isolate it, but uh I mean let me show you here. Um Got all this ripped up. I'll talk to you more about it later. But yeah, over here, you guys can see it's really wearing on the plate where it contact this part contacts this part right here. And maybe there should be like a grease nipple there or something, but there's also a hole there. Maybe that's to, you know, keep the plates together and transport or something. I don't know. Um, you can see the grease nipple on the other side goes to the outside of this bush. And obviously this bush is greased on the outside, but inside, it's still got a lot of space and this uh, snap ring just holds it on like that in place and the whole thing slips over okay I, I get that but yeah um design i'm not an engineer so these spacers here's an old one as you guys can see that has gouge marks from slop so it um, rides in here let me see if i can do this one-handed it rides in here like such 
and when the plate pivots it pivots like that but there's so much play that you guys can see this this wear band is just hitting right there so that's kind of kind of crappy so also i measured the uh new ones compared to the old ones i measured with the thickness of the bag which is about five thousandths so these are ten thousandths thicker in that much slop what's ten thousandths going to do i i just make more rubbage here so because it spaces it out farther it can do more wibbly wobbly i don't know so this 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 is a weird one i'm, I'm just gonna have to grease the crap out of this you know this whole plate before i put it back on again um watch this pin wear because it looks all right I mean, you can see a little bit of flaking off there. I mean, it doesn't look like it's galling. But I'll grease the crap out of that and then this and before I put it back on. But I will use the new spacers. They're stupidly expensive. I'll use them. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, ask uh, Hawthorne Cat and those guys down there for more advice. But this seems an awful bit sloppy. I'm going to write down all the measurements I have here of the bush, the pin bush, or sorry, the bushing, the pin it rides on, and then the bore of this. So this, 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 and this. So I'm going to write, oops, sorry. Yeah, all these four measurements. So I'm going to write those down and see what I can come up with. If I had a lathe, I'd see if I can make my own bushing to tighten up things a bit. Just a bit. Not interference fit or nothing. Nice slip fit. But not this loose, it's, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. That's, that's ridiculous. And then, I mean, you can see the distance to the snap ring also goes in and out. I know something's gonna wear. This thing vibrates and pushes hard, so yeah. All right, um, let me put it back together and we'll go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I measured that uh, roller pin, I call this the roller pin, the bushing, and the attach plate bore. So, what I came up with, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's the numbers, and I think I calculated correctly 85 thousandths of, I just uh, used the caliper to display how much uh, play is between all the spaces, so... We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna put it back together. Um, I just have all those dimensions just for record. I'm gonna tell those guys, I'm gonna grease the crap out of this thing, put it back together, uh, go from there, and call it good unless I see something else. So we'll go there. Uh, yeah, all right. All righty, so let's go for the grease. Be shy about it. All righty. Okie dokie. Grease off my finger. Grease is some good stuff. It's the Amsoil things. All right, so we got the bushing on. There's a snap ring plier. I'm gonna put the snap ring up there. The sucker is good and tight, let me tell you. But we're gonna use these new sizing plates there. So I'll take a measurement of them before I put them on. All right, so we're gonna. Groovy over there. All right, I'm going to just do for a good measure. I really don't care how much grease I use. 
Um, also going to do some on these corners here. Uh oh. We're out of grease, no! Okay. Two hundred something pounds. Let's scoot it forward here. You don't go there. All right. Let's see if I can do this. Make a fool out of myself. Good place to grab here. Let's go one side. Come on, there we go. Yeah, okay. that didn't cry too much. All right, that thing's got to be at least 200 pounds. Sounds grindy. Guess we'll see. I have a lot of grease here, so I don't think we really fixed anything. But we'll just go from there. All right. Well, let me show you guys here. So this. So what uh, the printout looks like, and that's the one there. It's got the bush. There's not too much to this thing. So, I'll show you the front page again. There you go, you guys can pause it. But yeah, so, did that on that project. Now, to clean up and do the skitty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we move to the skitty, I want to show you guys this wear on these spacers. So these are the doohickeys that were replaced. So you guys can see it's a pretty good wear in there. Pretty good wear. There, that's that one. Nice groove in that one. Yeah, this, this is what I want to kind of avoid. Um, we'll see what we come up with. Uh, I'll try to talk to the company Caterpillar and the manufacturer of the roller and just just to see what the consensus is before I make any kind of a judgment because it could be normal, could be uh, engineered in there. So yeah, let's just uh, talk with people and make it better for everyone. All right, on to the skiddy. Let's right. go. So here we are at the skiddy. I'm gonna check out these guys. Got this uh, Torx here, it's a T30. Let's see if it's on the right way. Yep. Okay. Alrighty, so 
put that down there. All right, let's show you guys inside here. Pretty simple. See, I got all kinds of schmooey gobbly schmoo in there. God obble schmoo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can loosen this guy to loosen these guys to make sure everything is tight. And then obviously clean all that crap out. All right. All right, how about we do that impact? Okay. All righty, so, before we smash paint more, like I just did, let's just put that sucker there. For now, all right. As you guys can see, it's almost like a manifold, almost. So I'm gonna check all these guys for tightness. Check this for tightness before we uh, put it back. But look at all that garbage. Garbage. We'll get that out of there and go from there. All right. So I think I have a dustpan around here. Yep, can't grab that with that, so. Grab that like so. Like that. find out what size those are all right instead of doing behind the scenes stuff I got my spud wrenches these guys are nice and big I'll show you the struggles that I have to tighten the sucker I have this pipe here of course all these uh, bugs love to come after me there let me get this sucker set just to show you Oh yeah, that sucker's tight. Okay, so that's good news. Bang myself in the head with that. Okay, get that sucker tight. Put that sucker down like that. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> she good and tight there. Now for the small doohickey. I don't think it was coming out of there. Good to check anyway. All right, so these two on the bottom and top are tight. After I get this back in, I'm gonna, um, you know, once this is secured, I'll check these guys with uh, either this or a bigger one. All right, let's do that. All right, so it's a seven sixteenths, seven eighths, or. Sorry, five sixteenths and seven eighths. Turn this sucker around. Oh, yeah. She got a little tighter. Perfect. All right, so all three of them are checked. Put that right there. Take that out. Lean that guy down. All right, so let's put that back in there. All right. I wonder if you guys can see there. Nope, it's too low for that one. Let's just get this sucker kind of tight on the top. See what we got going on here. Okay, so let's see if these spud skis open up wide enough. They do not. Time to bust out the big boy. The big boy. Yep, that sucker could use it. Now let's do for the case drain here. 
Yep. Now, I gotta get the bottom. Means taking these guys out again. Alrighty. Don't you go no ways. Alright. Let's see, how do we wanna do this? Alright. See how much force I can put on that without screwing anything up. Sucker was nice and loosey goosey. Oh man. Let's see if I have a socket for that, shall we? Better away. socket like that. I think they're both the same. Oh yeah. All right, well, before I fuck up more paint, sorry. Sorry for using the swear wordage. All right, so I'm gonna use some anti-sneeze here to coat the boat. Because I don't want in accessibility later, because you never know when you gotta change these guys. Okay, that one is anti-sneeze. Bless you. Drop that one, of course. Oh, you see my head. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy on. Let me get you a better angle. Alrighty, so. Get that up there, like such. Alrighty. It doesn't feel like I Okay, so you don't want to over tighten this because, um, you know, we, uh, yeah, don't strip it. All good. We'll come back in a sec. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So in conclusion here, summary, put the new spacers in there, tighten everything up, grease the heck out of it again. Um, it's still got some slop as you guys saw. So we'll use it and see what we come up with. This cleaned behind it, uh, made sure the hoses in the back were tight and these guys were tight as you saw. Um, this guy was a little loose, so we'll see if we leak after we uh, do any more tool usage. So we'll go from there and see what's up. Um, tighten all these down, uh, you put NICs here, here, and here. So yeah, NICs is good for bolts that you're gonna take in and out on the occasion um stuff rusts like crazy and all that and then galls up the threads and then you're screwed uh, i don't want that so all right you guys um simple video i don't know if it was much to do but uh we'll catch you guys on the flip side thanks for watching appreciate it all right aloha